Hey YouTube, how's it going? I'm Josh Letizier and I'm back with another tutorial. This one is going to be about making your own drum fills. I think there's a couple of good reasons why you should be making your own drum fills rather than bringing dr drum fills in from a sample pack. And that's because if you just bring in like a sample drum fill, it's going to be using different drums to the rest of your track unless you've actually chopped out the, the samples from that drum fill, which yeah, you can do. It's not a bad idea. Uh, but I think the whole track sounds more professional if you're using your own drum samples, or sorry, the, the drum samples from your track in the drum fill as well. And I'm going to show you kind of like an easy way to do drum fills because I know a lot of people struggle with them. So this is the way I would do it. I'm going to go into my own like kind of sample library. Um, just like samples and loops that I've created throughout my tracks and stuff. I'm going to show you um, quite a complex drum fill and that is drum fill 02 Whoa. so that's from my track Get Down and you can listen to that on my YouTube or SoundCloud so I'm just going to drop it in here So that's cool. Just going to lower the volume on that a little bit. Right, so basically what I recommend you do is pull in a drum fill sample as audio in your door. This doesn't have to be in Ableton, it can be anything. So you can actually see the, the transients and the different drums used in the sample here. So. So you can hear there's a hat, there's a snare here, there's the same snare with a big reverb here, a bit of percussion as well. So basically um, what I recommend you do is pull in a drum fill sample from a sample pack or something you've created yourself or, or wherever. Then I want you to listen to it and pull out all the different elements and I've I've done this beforehand just so it speeds up the tutorial a little bit so from listening to it um, I can tell there's a hat here yeah so let's just listen it's actually more of a cowbell but for for this purpose it's a hat so you, you what you do is you create a MIDI um, a MIDI clip and then an input where the where the sample would go and then just call it like hat one same thing again here hat two you can hear it it's that like poing sound um, and just do this for each sound in the drum fill so here's the snare and then percussion this is quite a quick way of doing actually. Um, I did this beforehand about in about five minutes, so you can just pull in any drum fill sample or loop and just basically pick out the parts. And I mean, they haven't actually got any samples in these MIDI clips uh, yet, but this is part of the tutorial is you pick up the elements within a drum fill and then you use your own drum samples that you've been using for the rest of the track in there. So you're effectively using the idea of, of a drum fill from a sample pack but with your own drums so it just sounds more glued together with the rest of the track. Like Nothing sounds out of place. Like To me this just makes so much more sense than pulling in um, a random drum fill loop and being done with it. So, um, and then you can also get quite creative with it because once you've got this, you can just delete that and then pull in your own samples and then you get a completely different feel. But it's the same rhythm, it's the same groove and if it's in a sample pack, hopefully, a lot of the time those, those grooves kind of work which is why they're in a sample pack that you've paid for, hopefully. Um, so bring that back. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Um, you can just 
tweak things around, but that's that's the way I do it. Um, and also, another cool thing is you can take like two drum fills and kind of add them together, and or take bits that you like from one and then bits that you like from another, and create your own that way. But same again, using your own drum samples. That'd be the way I'd do it. Um, whilst we're here, though, I'm going to talk about drum fills real quick. And this is actually quite a complicated one, I'd say, because there's quite a lot going on. They don't have to be that complicated. Just a few elements here. Um, you could even probably drop the percussion and it would sound fine. So you don't have to go crazy. One thing I would say is you want something kind of consistent throughout. And most drum fills, not all, but you'll find most in popular tracks, on the fourth beat of that bar, it's just one kind of final drum that goes psh, right, you know. Because this is normally going to go before a drop or before like a breakdown or just a new section of the song. So you really want something just goes crazy and then psh, okay, next next section of the song. Which is what this does. That's that's pretty much it, actually. I hope you guys learned something today from this tutorial. Please feel free to comment below if something wasn't clear, or you want me to go over some stuff and I can create a new video or something. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials and more music from myself. Catch you guys soon.